Right guys, rotation. We're gonna talk rotation and the importance of it and little tips and ideas that you can put into your game that is gonna help you get a little more rotated at impact. I am excited by this one because apparently you can't hit the goal shot unless you rotate it and no one can really rotate, apparently. It's gotta look like dust at impact. Right, rotation. Okay, so the first thing you gotta think about when you talk about rotation is why do I wanna rotate for impact? Well, rotation helps out with everything. Do I wanna be going through impact with that type of motion where I am, my body's rotating, handles slightly leading through strike, or do I wanna be going through with the club head? Now, when I do that, the club is, yeah, it's working quickly, but it's rotating at the rate of knots. I can't control that face. Yet, if I've got the body leading, that's where I'm gonna stabilize. So first and foremost, Body rotation impact, impact is what you want, okay? You could quite simply, go to the top of the back swing, rotate your body early, 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 stall out and still flip. So you've got to have an understanding there that you could do everything possible to rotate from the top of the back swing and still get to impact and flip it if everything's not sequenced. That's a conversation later down the line. But the most important thing to remember about rotation, it can help control face conditions. Also, if I set myself up, if I set myself up and then just turn my body, my handle goes with it, okay? So my handle tends to go with it. That gives me a little bit more ideas of forward shafting. That's simply put, because I, as I rotate, my left shoulder goes behind me, therefore my handle goes further forward, okay? So you definitely get a little more forward shafting as well when you get a little more rotation. Now, tricks of the trade for rotation. Here's things you cannot do, right? It's probably easier to learn this. Things you cannot do in order to rotate properly. The first thing is to keep your left and lead toe or your right and lead toe pigeoned in. Now, if I try and rotate either way now, I feel very limited, okay? Because my toe is prohibiting me from rotating. Yet, if I splay my left and lead toe out, all of a sudden now I can rotate. So if you're looking to rotate through the shot, let's get your left and lead toe almost sort of pointing out in front of you. Not directly out in front of you, but sort of maybe, maybe like 10 o'clock on a cock face, something like that. Number two, eye line. Eye line does more than you can ever think about. We tend to follow wherever we look. So if I was gonna walk over there, I would look and walk this way. I wouldn't tend to walk this way and look that way. I would just look like an idiot. But the reality is we tend to follow our eye line and patterns. So the more that I keep my eye line looking to my trail as I go through the shot, my body tends to stall over where I'm looking. Yet if I get my eye line going left, the whole body tends to open up. This is a natural reaction to what I'm delivering. But the more I can get my eye line open up through the shot or move my eye line further forward, I get natural things as a result. My body tends to open up, my chest is opening up, my eye line's opening up and my handle's following it. So there's some natural things you just get for free. But here's the kicker, right? How do you rotate? Well, rotation's a little bit easier than you think. Take a look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into a bit of a front bend at address. So this is my normal address position. Imagine I'm as if I'm in an address position, okay? Now, my knees are, have a little bit of a bend in them. As we all do at a dress, we should have a certain amount of bend. Now, if I just straighten my right leg, look what happens to my alignment stick. My alignment stick has moved away from you. Now, again, if I do my left leg, you can see the sort of, I guess, the balancing act that I'm starting to create just by going right leg straighten, left leg straighten. And now all of a sudden my hips appear to be opening. Now, all I'm relatively doing there is trying to keep my body relatively square but straighten and extend my legs. So from this angle, straighten and extend my legs. Now all of a sudden, if I was to stop, put pressure on my lead side and open my neckline, that's my impact position. Now I didn't physically feel that I had to rip open my pelvis. I didn't feel like I was killing myself for rotation. Yes, that is a rotation, but I got it for free and it certainly helped me, it didn't hinder me, by going from right leg to left leg. Now, all I'm doing there is going from a bent position in my knees to a straightening position in my knees. Now, obviously there is a weight positioning going on, so the more that I rotate, more my hip works back. Therefore, you've got to put pressure further forward. So pressure is always moving forward as you rotate. So it wouldn't be right leg, left leg, because I'd be stalled back on my back heel. That's where I might be coming across it and all sorts. You've still got to put pressure going forward as a simultaneous movement. 
So it's right leg, left leg as you move pressure. Now that is gonna give you the position you need at impact. So I'll do that again, set myself up. I'm gonna go right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. And then I'm simply gonna open my eye line towards the camera, put my pressure on my lead foot. And then finally, I'm just gonna get my ear, my trail ear, a little more on the ground. Now simply by feeling like my right and sort of right side of my face is more on the ground, my body starts to rotate underneath me rather than anything else. So that's just a few tips you could do at home to get a little more rotated impact. Now, a couple of things you will also need to think about when you get a little more rotated. Most people that aren't rotated are standing up and further away from the shot because they're, they're not rotating, they're throwing their wrist angles. Okay, that's what happens when you don't rotate. The moment you rotate, you tend to see less throw on the handle. So the more you rotate, the more the handle is gonna be probably held onto a little bit longer. You're gonna retain hinge, you get these things for free. So rather than those sort of ideas, you're gonna see those sort of ideas. Now, something people forget about when they start and rotate is you need to add in a little bit more what's called front bend. Now, front bend is just the condition of what my spine is relative to the ground. Now, this would be me throwing my angles, I'd have to come out. Yet, yeah, I'm just talking about getting a little bit lower. So one of the things you have to remember when you put a little more rotation in is you probably will need to feel like your chest is getting a little bit lower opening up and everything's going to start to feel very very different left toe open eye line looking towards the target really starting to feel like you're rotating just do that a couple of times so i'm just going to go up to the top of the backswing one-handed start and rotate 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 that's what i feel like i feel like my eye lines opening up I feel like my ears on the ground i feel like i'm lower I feel like my left leg is posting if i start adding those in if i start repeating those ideas i'm going to start and see super rotations at impact the more you can get into that sort of feel, the better it's gonna be. Start with one-handed drills, start and get used to it. It's gonna feel nuts and alien to a lot of you, but you might just take one of those. You might just think, actually, do you know what? My left knee foot needs to be splayed out. I need to feel like my cheek is getting to the ground a little bit more, my hips back, eye line. There's something in there for everybody. We could all do with a little bit more rotation. Some of us need to think about the timing of it, but at least there's something in there for everyone. Right, it's cold, it looks warm, it's not, it's cold. It's UK and it's about minus two. So it's coffee time, thanks for watching. If you could like, share, subscribe, all the things that would really, really help, I would appreciate it. Thanks guys, see you soon and stay safe, look after each other and see you soon.